Let's get started. I'm going to mute everyone and of course unmute and ask a question anytime if you like. Uh, I'm Mojo Morris Jones. We're doing defense topics. We've been talking about secondhand play, thirdhand play, and so on. I'm going to do a little bit on the subject of signals, just a little bit on attitude signals right now. Um, let me share the screen so we can get some some example hands down. Just the basics of attitude signals are uh, all I'm going to cover, but I want to, I've got a great interesting hand I want to show you and about how you can use attitude signals uh, in the process of, of playing a hand. Now, when your partner makes the opening lead, the contract here is three no trump, as you can see, and here in the dummy, here's the ace, the eight, and the four. You'd like to let partner know that you have the king. Now, they've led a small card, so they're probably leading the smallest from a four or five card suit, which means they, they could have some good cards in this suit. Uh, I would hope they have maybe a queen or a jack, uh, and uh, that this might be a, a suit worth uh, worth attacking as the defenders. So let's say that the declarer plays the ace from the dummy. You, we can the, the, we're, There's no point in us playing the king, obviously. Uh, we want to save that, but we'd like to let partner know that we have the king and that this is a worthy suit, that we have help for them in this suit. And you can do that through your choice of the small card you play. A little card would tell partner that you have no help in that suit and you're not interested. A big little card would tell partner that I do like the suit, so in this case, of course, we're going to play the nine. And if we just look around the table, you can see here, this tells partner, and notice that partner has the queen, 10, seven, the jack is over here, that we're in good shape to take the rest of the heart tricks if we ever get in again on, uh, on some other suit. And there's a good chance of that. Now, uh, let me give another example of, well, here, here's the, the alternative situation. Uh, in this case, the ace is played from the dummy, and here we don't have any help for partner in the suit. This is a no trump contract. We're not going to trump anything in hearts. So uh, it's good to let partner know that you don't have the king, and you can do that by putting in your smallest little card. And you can see, of course, that the king and the jack are over here in Declare's hand. We're not getting much in the suit. Partner might get the queen if Declare takes a finesse in the hearts. Uh, so we're going to play a small card to indicate that we have no help. Now, sometimes you don't always have exactly the right card to play. Let's say that partner leads the five and declarer plays the ace from the dummy. Um, you you want to play a small card because you don't have any help in the suit. What are you holding, the nine and the eight? Well, your smallest card is the eight. So let's play the eight. And, um, and let's say that declarer plays the six. Now, um, let's see, we're gonna play the eight, Declare plays the six. This, this trick here is going to move over to the side of the table. Now, I want, I want you to see this from your partner's perspective. I'm going to move myself to the other side of the table. I just led the five from the queen, 10, seven, five, two. That was my holding. Declare played the ace from the dummy. My partner played the eight and Declare played the six. So uh, this, on the face of it, the eight looks like a high card. But now let's look around the table a little bit. Here's the two, the three, the four. The five is, was my lead. The six was played by declarer. Here's the seven in my hand. The eight was the smallest heart in my partner's hand. So partner played actually a small eight. So we should be able to intuit from that that partner has no help in the suit. They have the eight and the nine. We can assume that partner doesn't have the king or the jack. There's no point in us returning the suit. Now, um, sometimes you have to put a little thought into it as well. Let me move myself to the other side of the table again and set up this hand. Let's say that partner leads the queen. Now, this is a very different lead. Partner, When partner leads an honor against a no trump contract, then we uh, should rightly assume that it's the top of a three card or longer sequence. Now it might be a solid sequence, a broken sequence, or an interior sequence. Now, the things that we know from partner's lead are that they don't have the king. 
because if the king were part of the sequence, they would have led the king because it would have been the top of the sequence. Here's the eight right here in, in Declare's hand, in the dummy. So we know where the king is. The king is over in the south hand. But we also know that partner wasn't leading from a solid sequence. A solid sequence would have been queen jack 10. And yet, here is the 10 right here in my hand. Now, letting partner know that you have the 10 is useful information. So when Declarer plays a low card from the dummy, um, the queen is going to lose to the king. I'll just show you the king right here in Declarer's hand. But it's good for us to play an encouraging seven to let partner know that we have the fill card for their broken sequence. Notice that partner started with queen, jack, nine. The seven tells partner that you have a helpful card in that sequence. It's got to be either the king or the jack. In this particular case, Declare is going to win with the king. They'll know exactly what you have. They'll know you have the 10 and that they should continue attacking the suit because they might be able to develop, you might be able to develop two tricks in this heart suit. Now, in, um, to use signals, I'm going to switch to a hand that's very interesting. Let me put this hand up. We're going to play in the east seat and I'm going to put an auction on the table. South is the is the dealer, so it goes uh, pass, pass, north opens one heart. We're going to pass. Um, south is going to bid one no trump. Our partner passes, and then north bids three no trump. So north has a very, very big hand, obviously. And now our partner leads the jack of spades. Now this is an honor. It should be the top of a uh, of a sequence of a three card sequence we can guess it's the jack ten nine I can see the eight right here here in the dummy are the ace and the king and we have the queen so do we like this suit I'd say yeah we like this suit um, we have help for it now sure the jack the uh, ace and the king are in the dummy so let's give an encouraging signal now let's see what happens we're going to continue with this hand um, Declarer starts <clears throat> starts playing hearts. We're going to play a, uh, a low heart. This is the start of a count signal, which is not our subject today, but uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk about that sometime in the future. Partner lets the first one go by, and on the second heart, let's say they take the ace of hearts. Now, you gave an encouraging signal in the spades, so they're happy about that. They're going to continue the spades. They can see that the ace is singleton in the dummy, so... Let's, let's play the ace. They're going to play a little spade. And uh, Declare chooses the ace from the dummy. And now, of course, they get to uh, play more heart tricks because they set up the hearts. And uh, and let's see, what's partner going to play? A, uh, a club? No, they have to play a heart. Another heart. Uh, we can. What we really want is, a, is get these diamonds, I hope. Let's see. Oh, dear. Things are not looking good for this side. Um, Declare is winning lots of tricks in the hearts. <clears throat> Declare now has six tricks and now they start in on the clubs. They take the queen, the king and the queen. Oh dear. And um, the jack, they lead the jack over to their ace and take the ten of clubs and bingo, they have made their contract. So what went wrong here? Um, the, the problem is <clears throat> we need to put a little thought into our signal before we play it. Let's go back to the auction, to the original hand. Partner leads the jack of spades. And we can see that the ace and the king are here in the dummy. Uh, and Declarer plays one of them. They play the king. And we like spades. I admit that. We like spades. <clears throat> but honestly, with the ace and the king here in the dummy, there are too many tricks in other suits. What we what do we really want? We don't want partner to continue spades if they get in again. What we really want them to lead is diamonds. Look at the diamonds here. Um, this queen of diamonds is very much at risk. We have the jack, the ace, king, jack, nine. We have every card to cover a diamond that declarer might play. So the, the signal that we need to give partner is to not continue the spades if you get back in. So we're going to give a discouraging signal. Let's put the two of spades 
on partners jack and now when the clara starts playing their hearts they play a heart and partner lets one go by and then they take the second one on the ace if we look at this from partner's perspective let me just switch seats for a moment and here is my hand i led the jack of spades from this holding and i took the ace on my second holding my partner gave me a discouraging signal i can see the ace of spades here in the dummy i know i don't want to lead a heart because the rest of these hearts are good clubs look really discouraging i mean it's possible that my partner has the ace of clubs but then there's this nice queen 10 in diamonds and partner said don't lead a spade now i have to choose between i, I really don't want to lead a heart the clubs look pretty bad if i figure this out i can lead the seven of diamonds if i lead the seven of diamonds and let's say declare well declare right now is panicking uh if we show all the cards we'll see that uh, whatever declarer plays, they're going to be in trouble. Suppose they play the 10. They want to make see if that can work. Well, partner wins the jack. And now partner can see the dummy has the ace queen, I mean the queen three doubleton, and they have the ace king. So partner's going to take the ace and the king and they're nine. And we've just taken five tricks and set the contract. Now, so this was a case where putting some thought into what you signal is actually a valuable thing. And that's what I have for this morning. I will put this on YouTube soon and add it to the playlist. I'm going to have a great summer and I will be in touch. Don't worry. I've got a lot of emails out. I'll be posting uh, probably to the Twitter account. We're going to play some bridge. We're going to drop in on bridge clubs and I'll send pictures and things like that. So uh, thank you all for being with me this morning and uh, good luck in today's games. It is Silver Linings Week. They're, we're awarding silver points today and tomorrow. Play early and often. Thanks very much.